So you know what I like to do on Thursdays. I like to go around what's going to happen this weekend and go through some best bets here. Okay. So the first thing I want to do, I want to go through two. I'm not sure what to do. You let me know which one you prefer. We got Nebraska plus 25 and a half at Ohio State and the Illini at plus 21 and a half at Oregon. We know how good Oregon and Ohio State is, but are Nebraska and Illinois really 20 plus point dogs? I'd rather get hit by a car than bet either of these games. Yeah. But I'll give it now. If you're forcing us to pick one, is that how this game works? For this one, yeah. They will go over some other ones. I would take Oregon. He, no, no, that's not. I'm what, going. I'm going on the other the you Illinois don't get side to do or the that. Nebraska side. Would oh. you rather twenty five and a half with Nebraska, oh. twenty one and a half with Illinois? Rico goes. I'll take Texas. No, <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll tell you where I was leaning. I was leaning Illinois because they're tougher in the trenches, and they may keep it closer. Would, and Dan Lanning shuts it down when he's up big. How yeah. do you think our ratty ass team covered? I'll go Illinois. I would go Nebraska. Oh. Because I don't think Ohio State is as good as we think. That I think that Illinois will just score points on their own. I mean, not Illinois. Nebraska will score points on their own. I would take. Will Nebraska. they? They scored seven last week. They were shell shocked. <laughs> okay. I'm just, I'm just... it, it, look, he dressed up as Jason and one and a half point favorite, hosting seven and zero oh, BYU. Yes. You hmm. bet. You, that's it. You just you you got to. Plug your nose in Bet Central Florida, the bounce house. Well, you can, here, here's why. Because you have to look at it. Their quarterback and their running back combined for 350 last week. Mormons are strange. While they lost, UCF did lose last week. It was a real close loss. They were 13 and a half point dogs against Iowa State and almost won. Right. I'm just making a point to you. Yeah, this is one where you've taught me when this line looks that crazy, don't use logic. You go with the just crazy go with the number. or you just keep walking down the street. Yes. So there's go your there's your one. The crazy. Go ahead. Mike, you mentioned Service Academy, so let's do it here. Mm. Notre Dame versus mm. Navy and East Rutherford. I am leaning plus eleven and a half Navy. Yeah. Am I, I crazy? I mean, obviously, by power rating, Notre Dame's about a twenty point differential they've covered four the last five but this isn't your mommy and daddy's navy do you know offensive efficiency rico navy ranks top 10 in both rushing and passing get on the horvath train they run this delaware wing t offense it's but it, they throw it i gotta take the points i gotta take navy it come on it's no. the only good football to be played at, at metlife this year you're taking notre dame aren't you they're gonna play like a champ Play like a champion. You know, do me a favor. Like- Go move to Pyongyang. <laughs> You're a communist. <laughs> Get out of here. Why? I'm, I, How I, are you going to root against our our best and brightest? Because I'm I'm Team Marines. Bunch of spoiled kids who go to Notre Dame. Get the hell out of here. Unbelievable, Rico. What? <laughs> Mike, let's talk about the game that you love. That God's I love. Team. What? It is Boston College yes. at Louisville. Boston College plus seven is what I'm seeing. Love it. No, I love it. I mean, again, Louisville, their tackling is is atrocious. Damian Martinez, every run got extended by about 17 yards. He couldn't tackle. But that's Martinez, though. This is Boston College. Ha- can I introduce you to Mr. Robichaux? Come on, man. It's, it's seven and a half. You're a chestnut hill. Emotional loss last week at home. You got screwed by the refs. You lost a shootout. You got physically battered by Miami. Now you go to chestnut hill. Come on. Take that's- seven and a half. I'm going Louisville. We're going head up on this. We are. Because I, well, I, I don't see Boston College is just, no. Okay. You, you know it's what? just no. Come so on, what man. Are we, are we doing lunch? We're going to do a little lunch? You know what? I'll go for a third one. Sure. Let's go. <laughs> Put that on the board, please. I did challenge you yesterday. If you could draw five calls on the Pistons, you had lunch tomorrow. And then there was another bet that we did on one of these games. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. If you don't have the evidence, you can't present it. Did we put it on the board? I don't think so. Um, now, now, this next one here is a simple one. Yes. Based off injury, they lost their quarterback. Washington. It is Washington, Washington. plus seven. Wa- How do you Indiana. do the UW thing? The UW. What do they do like this? Oh, yeah. All right, here you go. Purple rain. Curtis Rourke is out. The Indiana train of covering every number every week, it's over. UW's the best offense they've faced. UW might be the best team that they have faced. Take the seven, take UW. That's where I'm at with it. 
And for another one, I would also go uh, under 52 and a half on that one as well. How for that have you game. not asked about the penultimate game? The game, I mean, come on now. Which one? Because I was going to go LSU, Texas a and No, no, no. Friday night in Las Vegas. Yeah, I did not ask about that one because I'm already leaning UNLV. There, Boise so. State laying three and a half to the go-go offense of the running Rebs. That is your G5. That is your poverty conference showcase. The winner of this goes pole position for the playoff. And may I remind you, people, with UNLV, you get a level of sauce incalculable. This line should be five. It's only three and a half because of Brennan Marion. Your offensive coordinator has a neck tat, wears a quarter zip with no T-shirt underneath, which is psycho behavior, and has a diamond-encrusted necklace that says go-go. Come on now. It's Ashton Genty on one side. It's Tricky Ricky White. It's David DeJesus. It's Haj Malik Williams. Points everywhere. Bet the over. Yeah, over. Uh, I'm seeing a 66 and a half right now. Over. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Rico. Over. Brennan Marion. Let's talk about what a wild Friday night is going to be. Can we get be. Jonathan Smith to wear like a Jesus piece, a Q zip <laughs> with no sweatshirt, and get a neck tat, a gruff? Brennan Marion. If Lingren takes a gig, we're hiring this guy. Okay. That is sizzle. That is swag. <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be some good college football. The only football. thing Marion's got to do to go uh, one layer above, he's got to put on the buffs. He puts on the buffs with the neck tat, with the Jesus piece, with the no undershirt quarter zip. Psycho move. You only get to put on the buffs when you get a turnover and you play for Michigan. No comment. That is your <laughs> college football blitz. <laughs>